Hello, I am reporter Nicole Alvis, and I will talk about the book I just read, Amelia Earhart. Who was Amelia Earhart? She was the first woman pilot to do the solo transatlantic flight in 1932. Now let's see the main events in the life of this amazing woman. Amelia Earhart was born in Kansas on July 24th, 1897. The first flight. On January 1921, she was 24 years old when she received her first lesson. Two years later, she received her pilot's lesson at the age of 25 on May 1923. When Amelia was 30, she published her first book, 20 Hours and 40 Minutes. Her book was about her first flight across the Atlantic Ocean. Amanda has some records. She set an altitude record of 14,000 feet for women pilots. Later, in 1931, she flies the Auto Giro and sets again another altitude record. Amanda makes a solo flight from Honolulu, Hawaii to California in 1935. When Amelia was 40 years old, she made her first attempt to fly around the world. Four months later, on July 1937, she disappeared forever in the Pacific Ocean, two stops before she reached her goal. Until today, nobody has found her airplane nor her body, and her death is a big mystery. Her story is so interesting that I decided to research her last voyage. She flew through Miami, United States, Natal, Brazil, Dakar, Africa, Karachi, Pakistan, Bangkok, Thailand, Timor, and Darwin, Australia. During my research, I found something out very interesting. Now come with me to have a surprise. This is winter break, and I'm leaving Derry right now to go to a very special place. And I just read this book. Come with me. here at 76 Brook Street in Medford where Amelia lived with her family. This house was built, was built in 1887 and Amelia Earhart lived here from 1925 until she left to make the first transatlantic flight by a woman on July 17, 1928. I'm Nicole Alvis here at Amelia Earhart's house and back to the studio with you, Kelly Rickenback.